Bum 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 bum. The Zebra Airfit. It's a new pencil I got uh, maybe about two weeks ago, and I've been wanting to come out with a video on it. Just take a look at that, and I'll be talking about a couple of special special features that I like about it, and I'm going to be evaluating it on a couple criteria that I decided that this pencil would be best based upon. So let's just go ahead and start by going down the list, and I'll tell you guys a couple of cool features. So I first want you guys to know that this has a retractable tip. Now, this could be a plus, this could be a minus, because some people like retractable tips because it makes it so that you're protecting the tip of your pencil, but it you give up the, those benefits in what stability is because it might be a little bit wobbly. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Balance. I'll try to do the finger thing right there. So you can see it's actually a tiny bit closer to the tip. That's a plus. I'm going to give that a four out of five stars. Now let's give it, now let's uh, evaluate the weight. The weight is about average. If you compare it to, say, a uh, Pentel Sharp, it's about the same weight. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a three. It's average weight. It doesn't feel anything luxurious, and it's not known for its lightweight manner either. Eraser size, a huge selling point on many people, or for many people on buying a pencil. I'll try to get this off. Okay. So it's actually decently sized. Uh, it's bigger than usual, I would say. So I'll give this a four in terms of eraser size. I know that's a big plus for people. People like having a bigger eraser. They think that smaller erasers look a tiny bit tacky. So that's something I'm trying to include in my reviews for this channel. Grip comfort. So the whole selling point on the Zebra Airfit is supposed to be that there's a hollow grip. This you, this grip is made of plastic, and then you can see the mechanism inside, and there's a tiny air pocket between the grip itself and the inside mechanism of the pencil. So this is supposed to increase uh, heat loss from your hands. So the whole marketing thing behind this pencil is that if you have sweaty hands when you're taking tests or something, this will help to cool down your hands. Now, I thought this was a unique, cool idea, and that's the reason I bought this pencil, mainly to show you guys, and it actually does work. For example, on a hot, sweaty day, if your hands are sweating a lot, you probably wouldn't want to use this pencil sharp. It kind of gets really hot right here, and it can kind of add to your sweating. It can get a bit slippery. This one, on the other hand, doesn't really get slippery, uh, even when you do sweat, and also it helps to prevent the sweating because the heat kind of just leaves away from your hand through the grip. Of course, your palms will sweat. Uh, in fact... The, when I first bought this pencil, I thought like something sque squeezing the pencil will release air and cool down your hand. This isn't the case. It's just to help con uh, release the energy from your hands. So it doesn't release air in any way, but it helps to cool, keep your hands cool. So for grip comfort, uh, it's pretty good actually. If it's pretty firm, but it does give some leeway if you press it really hard. I'm gonna give it a four. This that is pretty good. Special features. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a. Four. Four for special features, just because I do like the idea that it's supposed to cool down your hand, but there's not really anything unique about it. Price. So this is a huge selling point. This pencil, you might think it's about $5, and usually it is. However, on Amazon, they can sell it for as low as three, three and a half bucks, um, because I bought it from Japan. Uh, so it was a little bit of a discount because I bought it from Japan. Uh, so it actually took a long time to ship to my place but i was willing to pay for it just because uh of the fact that it was way cheaper and also came with like all this cool stuff and also came with a piece of candy so it's a pretty reputable uh place to buy pencils and from amazon a third-party seller in japan so look i'm gonna go and give this a four for look i like how it's see-through i like how you can see the mechanism um it seems pretty cool you can actually see a tiny bit of a gold mark right there which i actually like and overall, I like the color. It's a bit shiny, silver. And, uh, of course, the look is subjective. I'm just saying what I like. But it looks are a very, very subjective point. So, of course, if you don't like the look or you do like the look, I can't argue against that. So, tip link. I'm going to start adding this into my reviews. Just because I feel like it's a pretty important thing for many, many people. Um, so... If I measure this right here, I use it in centimeters because that's typically how you're going to measure. Um, oh, that's not centimeters. Oops. That's typically how you measure tip length. And if I line it up right there, I would say it's about three, three millimeters or so. So it's not as long as the Rotary 800. 
uh, if I look at, if I demonstrate the rope ring 800 right here, and I put it up against my pencil, you can obviously see that they're different lengths by about a one, milli, uh, one millimeter. Um, so you're not gonna have the same uh, straight edge maneuverability as the rope ring 800, but it is a still a long tip compared to some other pencils uh, that you may know of. This is a conic shaped tip, which means if you drop it, there'll be, there'll be less chance that it actually breaks. But there's also a downside to that, which is not really an architecture uh, type pencils, which are typically more favored, I would say. I typically like to buy architecture pencils like the Rowing 800 more often, but this is a pretty, pretty, pretty good pencil. Um, I was very happy with the purchase considering the fact that it was only $3. And it is a really, really good pencil. Stay tuned, hopefully I'll be able to release more videos soon. And thank you for watching.